Hello and welcome to one of the exhibit areas in the Stuckman building on the UP campus of Penn State University. This is part of the College of Arts and Architecture and what you see around you and in the background where I'm standing is the result of a process of intellectual inquiry. In the Moral Moments Project, we think of intellectual inquiry as a process of first, realizing that you're thinking, second, figuring out what you are thinking about, and third, figuring out how you are thinking. The easiest way to do that is to begin to become aware that your mind is working. Your mind works 24-7 with or without your conscious collaboration. When you start collaborating with your mind, and when you start beginning to question the thoughts that you're having, you begin to intellectualize inquiry. There's lots of discourses in education. There's lots of things to think about. There's lots of what out there. And the key to intellectual inquiry is figuring out how you are thinking about the what. So our challenge in the Moral Moments Project is to become aware that you're thinking, to become awake to how you are thinking, so that you can then actively begin to choose to observe the thoughts around you, like the thoughts in an exhibit. What were they thinking? How were they thinking? Once you start looking, the world really opens up for you. As a teacher, we know that one of the greatest hurdles we face is getting the students in the classroom to communicate, to just talk to each other. When you're beginning to think about what you're thinking and how you're thinking, you can figure out that communication is your best tool for both uncovering the person you are and getting to know the person who's walking toward you or sitting next to you in class or you're teaching. So a cool exercise to do in this first session, which is on intellectual inquiry, have the students introduce themselves for real. Introduce yourself with what my students came up with, a fun fact. Hi, I'm Susan. I was a professional actor for 25 years. Ha, fun fact. What happens in that natural act of both introducing yourself, setting your thought out there, you then add something to the layer that helps a person get to know you. So have your students introduce themselves with a fun fact. What also we know is if students don't know a fun fact about themselves, there's something that World in Conversation uses, which is called wearing, caring, sharing. If you can't think of a fun fact about yourself, you can actually see something that someone has on. Example, hi, I'm Susan. Um, Dan, I see you're wearing headgear. What's that for? And then Dan answers, he can't now because he's taking this video. He would say, oh, I'm wearing earphones so I can hear you. Then all of a sudden, there's a two-way communication stream happening. So when intellectual inquiry collaborates with two-way communication, you have this beautiful negotiation of space, and that's called conversation. Let's go.